My name is David Zinn, and I have been a professional illustrator for about 25 years. I've always felt really lucky that I get to pay the rent doing something I'd be doing on my days off anyway. And awkwardly, I think my inner boss is also good friends with my inner child. Either that or my inner child is much stronger. So a day came along, as rarely comes along uh, in the part of Michigan where I live, where the weather was so perfect that it seemed intolerable to ignore it, like this was one of those deathbed regret situations. And my inner child helpfully spoke up. So I feel like I found some, some pleasantly unique territory in drawing on the sidewalk uh, for a variety of reasons. For one thing, you have a brief window of opportunity to create something, which is not going to stick around. So you have to jump when the opportunity arises. And because I started drawing these characters, worked harder and harder to learn how to draw them so that they would look absolutely real from one specific angle. It's called anamorphic art, and if you stand in just the right place, these drawings look like they're actually standing on the sidewalk or looking over the side of a wall or peeking around a corner and interacting with the real world, which is an amazing new experience for me with art that doesn't sit quietly inside a frame for you to notice it. It's right there. When I started drawing in public, the question I got most often from people was, when did you start drawing? The only response to that question is to say, well, I, I started drawing the same time you started drawing. And the logical question for me to ask them is, when did you stop? We all knew how to hold a crayon before we knew how to write. So we all drew. I think a lot of people make the mistake of thinking that art is something only a few people are equipped to do, and they have to do it with really expensive tools in private, exotic, you know, attics and studios for careful consumption in appropriate places like galleries and museums. And I think that's a shame because it makes it seem like art and creativity are something that only a few people are allowed to do. But being creative is something that is everybody's right to be. And I think the more people get comfortable with whatever kind of creativity works for them, the better off the world's going to be. Thank you for uh, listening. And from my imaginary friends to yours, uh, have a good day.